The PG&E Energy House Calls team is in the Central Valley of California to lower the Hosey family's energy use and upgrade their comfort by the time their kids come home from school. Hey, you're pretty hot yourself. Find out how on this episode of Energy House Calls, presented by PG&E. <laughs> Steve and Deborah Hosey and their two sons love baseball and their Central Valley neighborhood. But their house is just too hot and keeping it cool takes a big toll on their energy bill. Yeah. Despite the solar panels that came with the house. You have to run your air conditioning. And if those things aren't efficient, sometimes it can end up costing more for that than it does to actually pay your mortgage. He's not kidding. With an energy bill that can rise to almost $1,000, the challenge is clear. Comfort level up, energy use down. That's why I'm always the thermostat guy. I'm always trying to save energy here or there. And that's led to a thermostat war between Steve and his son, Devin. Whenever Steve raises the temperature, Devin lowers it. He's always complaining about it's too hot, it's too hot. And we tried different things here and there. It just didn't work. This is the Hosey residence. Now let's get in there, help him cool down in this Central Valley heat. Well, this is certainly a great room, isn't it? Like, as in big. Very big. Do you guys actually spend a lot of time in here? Oh, we love spending time here. We're always here, we're watching movies. So this is the hub of the house, yes, right? Yes, it is. But, um, you know, during the summertime, it's tough to be in here. We can't keep the room temperature regulated. We also have the skylights here. Those skylights, they aren't doing anything to block out the hot summer sun. And then there's the loose fireplace insert. Oh my gosh, that tells me a lot. An insert is supposed to seal a drafty fireplace and make it more efficient, but this one wasn't cutting it. You feel that? That means that the cool air is going out and the hot air is coming in. So then this is the hottest room in the house? No, not quite. There is one other room in the house that's hotter than this one. So this is your son's room? Yes, this is Devin's room. And you can probably tell it's a little bit warmer than the others. It's actually hot in here. Mm -hmm. Cool air is coming in there. But I have the returns here, but they were capped off before we moved in. The cool air's coming in, it's heating up in this room, but it has nowhere to go. But why was it getting so hot? The answer was above. And Dave, our construction expert, confirmed it. Well, you're right, it's the attic. Really? Look at 145 degrees, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, it's crazy hot up there. There's only four inches of insulation up there now. Yep. They need a total of 18 inches up there. With so little insulation, the heat is moving down below making their AC work overtime. Oh, Let's grab this hose and we'll scrub in the attic and get started. The PG&E Energy House Calls team wanted to upgrade the insulation big time. So they prepped the attic by sealing air leaks, while down below they sealed around the drafty fireplace insert. The team also figured out how to cut down on the hot sun shining through the skylight. The goal was to finish up before the Hosey boys got home from school, so Carmen put mom and dad to work, too. I'm going to show you how easy it is for you to take control of your energy bill. So, Deborah, what I have here is a solar film, and we're going to install that over on those sliding glass doors right over there. Solar film can help save 5 to 10 percent on energy costs by blocking the sun and the heat. And you, Steve, what you're going to do is create a jump duct. One on this side and the other one on that side. That's going to draw the air out and through the hallway. And what do you see down there? The return. Exactly. Carmen explained how a return sends air back through the ductwork to the air conditioner or heater. You think you can handle that? Come on, this is beginner stuff. I can do this with my eyes closed. Oh, really now? While Steve and Deborah worked in Devin's room, Dave and his crew were having a blast in the overheated attic. Man, it's hot in here. Okay, maybe not, but all that insulation will keep the hot air out of the house. Hey, Steve, how's it going? Whoa, nice work. Easy pickings. And how did Deborah do over here? I think good. Let's see, no bubbles. Awesome. The kids were almost home from school, so the PG&E Energy House Calls team added blackout drapes to block the hot sun and attached plexiglass solar filters to the skylights. As a special surprise for this baseball-loving family, Carmen and the team made an inexpensive mantle with recycled baseball bats. Nice. 
You guys ready? Yes. yes. How do you yes. feel? Nervous. Yeah, Deborah. Ex excited. Shall yes. we? Let's go. Welcome to your new living room. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Skylights. <laughs> I got curtains. Awesome. I love it. Come on over here. Look at the fireplace. <laughs> no, the mantle. Well, come on color. down. We took on a lot in this house, and not just in Devin's room and the attic. We re-energized the whole living room. Those look like baseball bats. That is very good, Steve. Very of course, there was one more surprise. What does that look like to you? Insulation? So before, you guys had four inches of insulation in your attic. Now you have 18 inches of insulation. Sealing and insulating can save up to 20% on heating and cooling costs. Thank you so much. Oh, that that's awesome. So awesome. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> A project list like this one can also help prepare you to go solar with PG&E. Increasing your home's energy efficiency leads to lower upfront system costs. Plus, the California Solar Initiative offers incentives to PG&E customers for installing solar. The comfort level of being in the house is going to change dramatically. We have victory in our home, finally. All right. The thermostat war is over.